If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. When the vendor bill for items already received finally arrives, you must match the vendor bill to the item receipt that was created for those items when you received them. To do this, select Vendors, enter bill for received items from the menu bar to open the Select Item Receipt window. In this window, select the vendor from whom you received the items and created the item receipt by using the Vendor drop-down. Any item receipts for the selected vendor will then be listed within the columns in the Select Item Receipt window. If you want to use the item receipts date as the date for the bill, then check the Use Item Receipt Date for the Bill Date checkbox. Next, select the desired item receipt to convert into a bill from the listing shown. If you use the Memo field when creating the item receipt, this information will appear in the columns to help you distinguish between the item receipts shown. After you have selected the item receipt that matches the bill received, click the OK button to continue to the Enter Bills window. QuickBooks will automatically create the bill from the item receipt by simply placing a check mark into the Bill Received checkbox field. Make sure that you have correctly entered the date the bill was received into the date field, and also verify the accuracy of the other billing information. When completed, click the Save and Close button to save your changes and close the window. If prompted by QuickBooks to save your changes to the transaction, click the Yes button to save your changes to record the bill. The change referred to is simply the check mark that is now placed into the Bill Received field, changing the transaction from an item receipt into a bill. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.